fastest growing cable news network is News Nation. Welcome back to NBC 23. Your time now is 6.45. And as you can see, we are joined by yet another special guest. This morning's show is jam-packed, I'm telling you. Go ahead and introduce yourself and then tell us why you're here uh, and what you're going to be talking about because this is like my favorite part of the show already. <laughs> well, wow, thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Keith Springzook. I'm with Disney on Ice. <sighs> I just love that. I love that so much. Now, I am so excited about this. I cannot even tell you. Go ahead and tell me all about your experience with Disney on Ice because people are pumped about this show for sure. Well, my experience with Disney on Ice extends when I started my skating career. <laughs> and, um, you know, Mickey is one of my favorite characters and the person actually when I was five years old, I used to wear him on my chest to school. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they bring the magic and they really are um, yet to give you the magic and we are yet to show you the magic. Yeah, I was gonna say that, you know, you mentioned the characters bring the magic and they do, they get us excited, but you and the talent out there, you're the ones bringing the magic. So how does it feel when you're out there doing your thing? What are you thinking about? Kind of paint that picture for us. Growing up uh, doing ice skating, you know, you, do you don't think that your skills can take you and catapult you into this world, into the world where you can bring happiness, excitement and joy to kids' lives. and. Uh, being the talent, as you're saying, it's amazing when we get to just do that, you know? Bring what kids love so much by Disney to life. Uh, you are absolutely doing that. Now, I attended this event last year. It was amazing. Everyone was singing and dancing. Yes, even the adults. And so I love the energy. Um, <laughs> and so I, I got to know, like, when you're training for this, like, are there any special routines or rituals that you do to make sure that you're ready to go that night? You know, we have our normal routine, we warm up, you know, we stretch, we meditate, we breathe. We also take a moment to appreciate everything and everyone around us because who can say we're doing Disney on Ice or who can say we are in a different city every single week, you know. Um, but also to bring the love of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse and just Disney in general to someone who probably won't get the opportunity to go to theme park, but we are your theme park. We're bringing you the energy. We're bringing you Disney. Yeah, you are bringing Disney to us, literally. Precisely. I love that. So cool. So when is this happening? Where? Tell us everything because we want to put this in our calendar. We are opening up tonight at 7.30 at the Payne Arena all the way through till Monday at 10.30. Awesome, awesome. Plenty of chances to check it out. And again, this is a family-friendly event, right? Everyone can oh. come out. Like you said, even <laughs> the adults were dancing. <laughs> I host the show in the beginning and trust and believe the parents are living the best life. Amazing. So <laughs> when you guys go out there to the show, make sure you say hi. And we're, we're going to see you out there. We're going to recognize you, take photos. <laughs> it's going to be a great take time. Take lots of pictures and videos. Oh, very cool. And really quickly, where can we follow you? Me? Yeah. Oh. Follow me on uh, social media, yeah, websites. Totally. Disney on Ice too. All You'll right. see me. Oh, we see you. We see you everywhere. We're going to keep an eye on you. Thank you so much for being here. We really Thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having me. Awesome. Now, Chris, I got to know, are you, uh, are you good with your skating skills? <laughs> well, I had some lessons when I was like probably four or five, but that was years ago. So I don't think I am quite uh, coordinated, that's for sure, especially when it comes to ice skating, because of course we don't get that much ice here across South Texas. It is going to be mostly muggy and hot as we go into the next few days, but we will see uh, those cloud cover remain in the picture at least through the rest of the work week. McAllen right now at 73, Harlingen 70, Brownsville at 73. Expect mostly cloudy skies uh, this afternoon. As far as your dog walk forecast, those temps warming on up into the upper 70s, low 